Hi, I am here at Integral Yoga, and I just taught a class, and I'm doing the reading from the Golden Present Daily Inspirational Readings by Sri Swami Satchidananda. I'm in a room they call Jyoti. It's called Jyoti, which means light, and I didn't teach in this room, but just came in here to be able to do the reading, and this is for November 5th. The topic is, it's still a dry leaf. Hmm. Speak less and only speak about what is to be spoken of. Control of the tongue is very important. The tongue does two things, tasting and talking. Have limitations in both. Speak less speak softly, and speak the truth. Occasionally, stay away from talking completely and experience silence. By talking, we expose our ignorance and create a lot of enemies. It's not easy to talk and still be respected. If it were my choice, I would prefer to be silent. But then I think, why should I be silent? Am I talking? No. Someone makes me talk, and I talk. If he makes me keep quiet, I will keep quiet. That's all. When you have this feeling that talking is not your talking, you are just a speaker and somebody else is talking through it. So you don't need to worry about that. Don't have any want of your own. Whatever has to happen through you, let it happen. If you are made to talk, talk. If you are made to sleep, sleep. If you are made to eat, eat. Then you don't need to worry about any of these things. Resign yourself completely into the hands of God, into the hands of the unseen power that functions through you. You will be contented. This is where you placed me. I am here. Tomorrow, you may throw me into the ditch. I will be happy <laughs> there also. Like a dry leaf. Suppose the wind comes and the leaf gets carried up and dropped on the top of a church. If another gust comes and is thrown on top of a manure pile, then what? It's still a dry leaf. No matter where it lands, it just says, well, you are the one who placed me here, fine. Maybe you have a purpose for that. That's what you call total acceptance. Trust in God and all of life will be joyful and peaceful. Hmm. I have to say, even just reading that, there's a sense of calm and peace about it for me. And I think about that leaf that's just kind of floating down along the way, landing here and there. And you can think about things, a garbage bag, plastic bags. I see all kinds of stuff floating around in our streets. Um, you know, it's just being carried along by the wind. Obviously, the difference with us is that we have... Uh, mind that tends to label things as good and bad, right and wrong, and it's just the way our mind functions. So it can be very difficult to just be that mindless and allow things just to happen, um, and to let you know, let it be in the hands of some other force. He's talking about God here again. It can be anything that you think is governing um, the next moment, you know, what is that force that, that directs things to then happen this way or that way? Is it completely just by chance? Is there no um, guiding force that's doing this? I don't know that everything, you know, some people believe everything's already been written or your fate has already been determined. Uh, you know, is it that or is it that we are just grasping at trying to make sense of things, so we decide that we give name and place and form to things in order to give life meaning. And what if it's just our creation, and really it's just all of this is an illusion. You know, it's, it's either, you know, maya is a, a word for illusion in the um, yogic practices, but also, like some days ago in the readings, Leela is another word for, for what this all is, which is play. You know, this is all just for play. 
and we just have just decided that you know we can um, decide if something is good or bad and then we live our life according to that some of us live a little more often with life being bad oh no this is terrible oh no this happened today a lot of negative bad things that can be happening and somebody could be living the same life but they're looking at it a little differently oh interesting that happened well that's cool because you know it leads to this this and this and you can see how it just will there the meaning for them is going to be very different um, I like that the, where it started off with too is like you know speak less um, and that the mouth does two or the tongue does two things tasting and talking and he spoke about silence and the um, impulse to then have words and to speak I I tend to think with these, um, part of what I'm practicing is just learning to put whatever words forward that come out and to trust that they're the right things that are happening. Um, and when the moment, when there's a, mo a silent moment, just to revel in the silent moment. Because then in the next moment, something's going to propel me to either break the silence or to maintain the silence. And he, you know, I really feel like he offers a lot of freedom here. He just says, if you're meant to sleep, then you sleep. If you're meant to work, then you work. So you might think to yourself, so if I just decide to go lay down and sleep, is that God telling me to sleep? You know, and that's something that takes practice to figure out are you just being lazy? Are you um, actually going against what this impulse is trying to tell you and you're, you're working against it? Maybe you're supposed to be getting up and you're like, no, I wanna lay down. <laughs> or maybe that too is all working together. It's, we, I think we just, that's where we have to come up with our own sense of this, our own meaning. Well, that's what I'm gonna come up with for now. So that's what came through me. I'm just gonna say that's what came through me. And um, they hide the little plants behind me. Yeah, talked about a leaf. There's the leaf. <laughs> Wait, what was the thing about the leaf? It's still a dry leaf. Oh, suppose the wind, yeah, it keeps moving around like a dry leaf. Okay. That's it. Bye.